In this episode, we honor two special students, Jackson Lanfair and Kylie Lark. What's the Word has a chilling performance recap I know you don't want to miss. All this and more on the BBM. to raise awareness for leukemia and to honor a fellow Basha Bear. We were very lucky to have Jackson here on campus, who unfortunately died of leukemia five years ago. Here's Benji with more on how we're honoring his legacy and still celebrating him today. This week, Stugo hosted the Jackson Lanfair Week, where students go around to classes in order to raise money for the Jackson Lanfair Foundation in honor of his Make-A-Wish. Make-A-Wish comes to children that are in the hospital for cancer, and they ask the kids if if they had one wish, what would it be? And usually people ask either to go somewhere, get something, or meet someone. Jackson just kept saying, I want something that would last. After about a month of thinking, Jackson finally decided to make the Jackson Landfair Humanitarian Scholarship. Make-A-Wish funded the first one, and our family gave it to a, a student at Basha that wanted to go into law enforcement, because that's what Jackson wanted to do. And then we decided that we wanted to keep it going. We wanted it to continue in Jackson's legacy. So we created the Jackson Landfair Foundation. So far, the Jackson Landfair Foundation has awarded 13 scholarships to Basha students, students from other schools, and cadets who haven't gone to college yet. His wish has helped many get into law enforcement and will continue to for years in his legacy. This is Benjamin Ozark with BBN News. Thanks, Benji. Earlier this month, here on campus, ribbons were put up in honor of Kylie Lark. Kylie was a student here at Basha who passed away recently from cancer. She was a lively spirit who lit up every room she walked in. She was such an amazing person and student. With Jackson Land for a week wrapping up, Ava has a bunch of updates with what's going on around campus here in Sugo Stuff. Hey Bears, Ava Gilbert here. Promise us that a month away and tickets are finally on sale. Prom 2024 will be on May 11th from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. It will be held at the Ashley Castle. This year's theme is the Masquerade Ball. Tickets are available in the bookstore and on GoFan. They are $60 with an activity pass and $65 without. Today is your last day to vote for campus beautification. Participatory budgeting is where the school gets money from our district to improve our school. Basha AMS partnered with the high school to come up with new ideas to improve our campus. Recently, we had several inputs on how to improve and beautify our campus. Our first option is two bear statues, a larger one to represent Basha High School and a smaller to represent AMS. Our second option is a replacement of dirt with gravel between the F and H building. Our third option is benches around campus for more seating for students. Last are large concrete block letters by the breezeway to represent our school. And our spring sports assembly will be next Friday and will be the last assembly of the year. The theme is tropical. That's all I have for you this week, and remember, above all, be a bear. The winner for the participatory budget will be announced next week during the spring sports assembly. I can't wait to find out who won. The Chandler Unified School District is offering students the chance to voice their opinions about the food service program at their school. To participate in this survey, you will have to go to www.studentvp.com and then enter the passcode 2024. This week, those of you who park in the Mesquite parking lot may have noticed its closure due to heavy equipment traffic. This may not be ideal. Trust me, getting to school was not easy for me either. But Admin is urging the importance of not taking other people's parking spots as it can create a chain reaction of spots being stolen. Moving on to What's the Word, and Asia gives us a recap of the show with theater and also an update on band. Hey guys, I'm in Asia on What's the Word. Today we have more Basha Gives Back projects, competition recaps, and more. But first, the word of the week. This week's word of the week is abashed, feeling or cause to feel uneasy and self-conscious. Starting this segment off with a bang, the Basha Theater Company debuted Murder on the 518. Can you hear me? Sydney! Sydney! Elliot! No, Elliot, can you tell us what's missing? I don't follow you. You know how he's always writing down everything he sees? Basha Honor Guard put on a slam dunk of a show on April 5th. 
That Friday, they performed for a five-on-five -five celebrity basketball game honoring first responders, veterans, and service members. Over 5,000 people attended the game and was even filmed live by Channel 12. Winter Guard also placed third, receiving bronze medalist in the WGAZ Championship. Carrying on with special congratulations, Basha Band were all over the place last week. Adrian Alamanderez, Evelyn Anderson Chen, and Kayla Lee earned a spot in the Arizona All-State Band and went down to Tucson at the University of Arizona to work with legendary composer Julie Dro. Basha Indoor Percussion Ensemble also earned the 2024 state championship title. Senior Izzy Tumpop was also honored with this year's WGAZ scholarship. Are you interested in investigating crimes? Well, you might want to join the FBI Teen Academy. The Phoenix FBI Division provides an opportunity for students to take a look at the behind the scenes of the FBI and learn their work. You can register and learn more about the program using the QR code at the bottom. The deadline is April 23rd. Our Basha Gives Back program gives our students the opportunity to help out the community with real issues. Here's how one student is helping spread awareness for the fentanyl crisis. Our Basha Gives Back project is about how we need to talk about the awareness of fentanyl and um, we need to raise more awareness about it because of the, how dangerous it is. The money will be going towards the Alexander Neville Foundation. The foundation was created after Alexander Neville was killed by fentanyl. So we are raising money so we can donate to that foundation. We're selling these little like perler bead designs and like it ranges from two to seven dollars depending on like what it is, what size it is, and basically we have it up on our Instagram page, which is Fight Against Fentanyl. There's like an underscore in there. And um, basically it like shows off the different designs or you can request something um, other than the ones shown. Sales end the last week of April. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have today. I'm in Asia and that was What's the Word. Don't let those abashed feelings get to you. Later, bears. We want to give a huge congratulations to our software and app design students, Ramir Patel, Spencer Southworth, and Isaac Stubbs, for making it to the FBLA Nationals. With all these tests coming up, I know things can get super stressful. Now, with it being Stress Awareness Month, we went around campus seeing how stress affects students' lives in and out of school. With upcoming finals and AP exams, students may feel overwhelmed and stressed. During Stress Awareness Month, we are acknowledging the anxiety students may be facing and offering ways to de-stress. When students are really stressed, they sometimes withdraw socially. Um, when they're not meeting deadlines and they're getting really stressed out about school, they have to cut out like social events, athletic events, seeing their friends because they end up like kind of hyper-focusing on school. It's basically variable, but sometimes it's like when I have a lot to do and stuff is too much for me, just being alone, trying to like get myself back together, like doing stuff I love and maybe even like venting about someone about it. When students are feeling stressed out, they should go see their counselor in the front office or our social worker in C101. Mrs. Wargowski, or we also have two school psychologists they can go see. You know, I may not be an artist, but some of the kids here on campus showed their art skills at the Unified Club Art Show. Here at the Living Unified Art Show, we see some talented artists and their amazing work. Students put a ton of work into each of their projects, all while having a blast doing it. It, it was really fun. It was like really hard at some point. My teacher helped me like a little bit of it. There were so many pieces made by all the students. From rubber band paintings to plates and bowls, students showcased their incredible works of art. Max, with his very colorful piece of textured art. Edward, with his amazingly made rubber band bear icon. Bryce, with his handmade paper mache vase. Henry, with his masterfully made, handmade potted plant, and Emery, with his beautifully made bowl and plate. The money made from selling art goes straight into the Unified Living Club for future fun activities. Carter Wynn with BBN News. 
As we move closer to the playoffs for baseball and softball, Skylar takes a look at how the teams are doing before the end of the season. Here's the Grizzly Grind. Hey everybody, I'm Skylar Meister for the Grizzly Grind. Our BBN sports crew has been crazy busy competing and testing, so we apologize that we haven't been able to make it out to your games. But we wanted to keep you updated on your sports, scores, and highlights. Our softball team was looking for some revenge against the Gators, who they lost to a few days before. With a dominating performance from Lindsey Hipke with two RBIs on the night, the girls defeated the Gators 17-11. They take to the field today in their last game of the season against the Gila Ridge Hawks at 345 here at home. The baseball team made the short drive down Val Vista on Monday to face off against the rival Perry Pumas. Just falling short, the boys could not pull out the win, losing 3-2. Playing in a tough game against the Broncos on Tuesday, the final score was 10-0 Broncos. See them play today at Gila Ridge High School, taking on the Hawks at 345 in their final game of the season. Facing off against the number two ranked Broncos on Tuesday, the boys volleyball team took to the court. Helping out the team, Dalton Torville put up some good defense, but it was not enough. The boys lost 3-0. Catch them at 5-30 against the Huskies at Hamilton High School. Heading over to tennis, both the boys and girls celebrated their seniors last week against Gila Ridge. This year, Basha honored seven seniors who took to the courts, both the boys and girls sweeping the Hawks 9-0. This week, taking on the Boulder Creek Jaguars, the boys finished off their season on Monday. Showing up for his team, Cody Fuller had a dominating performance leading the Bears to victory. The final score was 6-3. The girls finished off their season last week against the Perry Pumas. They lost 5-4. They prepare for their first playoff round next week, the 23rd at Corona Del Sol High School against the Aztecs at 3 p.m. The track and field team competed in the Chandler City Meet on Wednesday. Congratulations to Audrey O'Connor who set a new PR in the 800 meter and got first. Juliana Garcia taking the win in shot put, Trey Parkins also getting first place in shot put and setting a new PR, and Jocelyn Phillips for first place in the pole vault. And if you're interested in playing girls flag football, there's an informational meeting next week, April 24th, right after school in room C216. That's all for this week. I'm Skylar Meister for the Grizzly Grind. With summer right around the corner, Logan's looking for a way to cool off. Here's what's in the box. Who do I have today? Brian. Darlene. Okay guys, you're on What's in the Box. This is Basha's lowest budget game show. How are you feeling today? Great. Good. Okay, it's, uh, it's getting pretty hot out. Summer's coming just around the corner and I'm looking to cool off. So you guys are gonna throw water balloons at me. You have 30 seconds to throw as many water balloons at me as possible and whoever hits me with the most wins. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm starting to reconsider this, but just do it. Just do it. Am I am I on camera? I can't. Jesus. I should stop trying to I should just close my eyes. Okay. <laughs> They're not even popping. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, aim for my chest. <laughs> all right, uh, just go until they all run out. We're we're changing the plan here. Ah, this is, I need to stop trying to dodge them. I'm gonna just close my eyes. Just close my eyes. Okay, is that all of them? There's one more right there. Oh, there's still another one. All right. Okay, so uh, Darlene won. Hit me with more water balloons than Brian. You gotta work on that. But uh, you are now the proud owner of this amazing prize. Before you open it, tell me, what do you want more than anything in the world? I don't know. Not a good answer, try again. I don't know. Still not a good answer. Give it one more time. Money? That's a good answer. 
better than I don't know. Open that and show me money. They're goggles. Goggles, prepare you for summer. How do you feel after winning that prize? Amazing. That's great to hear. And uh, do you guys have anything you want to say to the audience? No. There we go. I'm so glad to be able to celebrate a former Basha Bear. Jackson has been an inspiration to everyone here on campus. We hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And don't forget to follow all of our socials. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.